Yo, what up? This is Brian from UniDB Studios. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of low end, especially in vocals. So first things first, you have to understand when you record, you're singing. So much of the chest voice is where the emotion is at. And there's actually emotion all the way through the EQ channel. So when you're removing stuff, especially the low end, what you're actually doing is sacrificing. So you're removing muddiness, but sacrificing some of the emotion captured from the microphone. Most people, they go wide like this. They listen to the vocal, right? We get high, we get lost, we get fucked up, we get crossed. We don't want to do this anymore. Take these drugs when we teleport. So when you listen to this, you might think, I want to remove this because it sounds boxy. So most people, they remove it. But you just sacrificed a big part of the vocal. So I'm not saying always go surgical. I'm saying what you have to do is don't touch the EQ. Listen to the vocal. Play with the beat at a respectable level. I like it a bit, a bit higher than usual maybe so I can hear the vocal clearly. And try to spot different frequencies you're hearing first that you want to remove. And know why you want to remove them and then try to find them. And when you do this, you'll end up having a lot more like surgical results. So if I, I remove this EQ, I want to make this video short, right? I have uh, 239 here. That's pretty uh, thin of a Q. And I remove also some dynamic content. So that's another thing is sometimes it's not so much constant. You, you got a lot of dynamic thing go going on. Look, I'm going to bypass the EQ so you can hear. We get high, we get lost. We get fucked up, we get crossed. We don't want to do this. You see, so I just, everything I did here, I made sure it was a significant move that made sense, not just an automatic move. So then what I did is I went pretty large here at around 250 hertz. I removed some more of that mud, but now I'm removing it with a multiband compression. So instead of suppressing it with an EQ, I'm controlling it and I'm keeping some of the transients. So let me just bypass that, that uh, C6. If I mute the, all the effects and I put them back on, look at what I have. So it's small moves like this that can get you far. And then what I do, of course, is I like to add saturation. Um, so I added an SSL before that, some clarity. True Iron's another one also. True Iron uh, basically is an analog emulator that also has some slight distortion and some harmonic content. So I put it on those settings and uh, listen with it, without and with. And then I put my saturation on. I choose my compressors also uh, basically on what I want as an end result. So I know like, for example, this compressor adds a lot of mid tonal frequencies. And when you have a, a dark vocal and you want to keep it thick, but not muddy, that's a great way. The last trick I'm going to show you is basically with parallel tracks. So I added two parallel tracks and as well as delays and reverbs. Basically, this parallel track is to add like candy, high end, saturation again. And this one is basically to thicken it up. And on this one, if I solo it, we get fucked up, we get crossed. We don't want to do this anymore. Take these drugs with me, teleport like. So what I did is I added a max bass and on this I boosted quite in, uh, quite enough of it. Um, 5.2. I added again this teletronics because I like just the tonal it, it adds and also I'm compressing the hell out of it. So it's really uh, like a brick and then remove some of that like almost sub frequency and some of that high end. And then I put a uh, Avalon preamp. So this one is a really like thick vocal, but since it's really controlled and compressed, it doesn't get in the way of my like cleaned up vocal. But I'm coming back every time. I need you up in my line again. And with the effects on the parallel. But I'm coming back every time. I need you up in my line again. <laughs> And what I want to do basically is I want to dial it in while I'm uh, playing the song. So I'm left with this. But 
I'm coming back every time I need you up in my line again I like the Marlboro, she like the Parliament Why'd I just let it move into my mind and apartment is fire, you starting inside of my head Swerving the lanes, you know I'm impaired Without you, baby, I'd rather be dead Without you, baby, I'd rather be dead Shit, I-